Welcome back, everybody. Today, we are going to be opening up a box of six Series 22 LEGO minifigures. Now, we haven't opened up any of them yet, so this will be the first six we get. And after last time opening a box of six, uh, I'm pretty excited because they were six individual ones in the box last time. No duplicates or repeats. So I'm hoping that's the same case with this one. Let's take a look and see what we got. Here we are. Lots of mystery inside this box. Let's take a quick look at the outside of it to see if there's anything special. Some silhouettes of the characters that we will be seeing shortly. And that's about it. Let's get into it. So these are what the packages look like. Looks like an Einstein looking guy right there. I actually know he's got a hat on. I thought that was his hair. I'm gonna pull up a list on the side and see what's inside or what the potential ones are and I'll see how good I can guess. Wish me luck, because I did bad last time. Let's see what I can find out. There's a quite a big round piece here. This feels like a coffee cup kind of shape. This right here feels almost like a shield type thing. So make sure it's not the booklet or the plate. Hmm. I thought these were something, but they kind of feel like legs, so that doesn't help at all. But this feels like a hat of some kind. It's big. It feels like it would be the guy that's riding like a tricycle or baseball hat. So let's go with the person with binoculars and a toucan. Yellow legs. So this is to be the guy with the little robot. Ooh, interesting character for sure. Let me build him and show you what it looks like. Here's what the little android guy looks like. He has like a hammer in his hand. He's got, he looks like almost like a construction worker. Also, he has a happy face and it looks like a, this must be the back of his head with a battery level meter on it. So that's pretty cool. He's printed all the way around. Unfortunately, it's hard to get the helmet on. He also comes with a little robot buddy and he has interchangeable hand pieces. So he's got like a little wrench on it right now. You can also take that out and put it in like a drill. So pretty cool. Never seen something quite like that. Didn't I could I've never seen one where you have interchangeable hand pieces before, but that's pretty cool. Let's see what number two is. Number two. It's got a lot of air in the bag. I don't know if that'll make it easier or not. Well, this is big, big and squishy. There's only one thing I think that looks like this is what it would be, and I'm thinking it would be um, the guy or girl plaid shirt on with a carrot and a horse. Just judging by how big that headpiece feels. So I think that's just the big hat and hair piece. A lot of pink in this, so nope, this looks like a little space ranger with a ray gun. I'll build it and show you guys what it looks like. All right, this is what looks to be like a little bug creature. You can see the eyes on there. That's what I was feeling is the big, big headpiece. I didn't realize that, that was this one and not the guy with the hat on. It's got a little cool ray gun. It's got the classic like Space Explorers logo on it. And it's also a backpack with, I'm not really sure what that would be in there. It looks like some corrosive, to me it looks like a corrosive agent of some sort on a backpack, but they're pretty excited about it. Another interesting thing is that both sides of the head have the exact same print. So you're not really getting a different expression or anything from this interesting looking character. Number three time. Oh, what is this? So I'm at uh, 0 for 2 right now. This feels like the head of the acorn guy. It looks like he got a little acorn hat and a stick. Let's see if that's the one. This, this feels exactly like that. I'd be surprised if it wasn't that. But I've been wrong many times before. Ha. Yep, I'm wrong again. It's the guy with, oh, actually he's got a dog, that's cool. Guy with a hat on, winter hat on. Let's build him and see what he looks like. Here is <laughs> what looks like an Antarctic warrior. He's got a cool shield with like a snowflake on it and a sword. He's got a little dog with him, which is pretty awesome. He's got a companion. And in true form, he has two faces. One that looks a little more relaxed and the other one looks a bit more intense. So obviously I was wrong again, uh, 0 for 3. So at least uh, I'm consistent. We're gonna see what number four holds for us. Time for number four. What the heck is this thing? 
This feels like a skinnier part to a bigger part. This feels like it's potentially, it could be the dog or it could be the horse, but it feels like a small little figurine in there. This feels like, a, oh, it feels like there's a bag inside of a bag, actually. This feels like a large, very large piece, rounded kind of. This could be the person with the carrot and the horse. Being that it's a bag within a bag, it's going to be hard to feel out some of the other pieces. So I'm going to say it's the person with the hat on, the carrot, and the horse. Oh, look at that. Finally, I got one right. Well, let's build it. Here we have a little horse slash pony with a girl giving him a carrot. This is, this is hard. I would expect this to be a little more rubbery. Um, so that's what kind of threw me off. Also, she has two faces. Happy. She's kind of smirking. This one's pretty fun. I like it when they come with little animals. And she's got a carrot to feed them. Time for number five. Number five. This feels like a big headpiece right here. Big headpiece. This just feels like a large object in general. If we're going off the assumption that there's no repeats in this and feeling how big this piece is and how big I think this headpiece is, I think it's the raccoon with the garbage can. It's a bag within a bag. Oh, yep, that's what it is. A raccoon in a garbage can. Let me build them. Here she is. She actually has two different hair or headpieces, one with hair, two faces, and the fun raccoon mask. And she's stealing your trash like a proper raccoon. <laughs> it's a fun set. It's fun that you can have the person out and in their uh, costume. Also, has a fun little tail to go with it. So this lady is very ready for Halloween. Uh, last but not least, number six. Let's see what we can find out. I think this is the body. Yep, that's the body. These are definitely the legs. It's a small but like full-size brick piece. Man, this one's difficult to tell. Oh, this feels like a cup. Um, what one has cups? It looks like the, I want to say the dance champion person looking person. I'm not sure. Or is it an ice skater? That's an ice skater. I'm going to guess that's who it is because this feels like a cup. So, all right, let's see if that's what it is. I think I'm right. Yep, let me build them and show them off. Here he is, the skating champion. You can see I put the little skates on him. He's also got some fabulous hair here. He only has one printed side of his head though. He looks pretty, he's got like some sparkle or glitter face paint on, or makeup I should say. But he did win. And they have a little standoff for him so you could make him kind of angled in the air like they did with some of the superheroes. Although you can't really have the ice skate on at the same time unless you somehow put it in the back of the leg here. I think that might be the intention, but pretty cool. Plus, that was six unique ones we got this time. That was exciting. We got six new figures, and I am a terrible guesser. I think I got two right out of the six. But we got an excellent collection here to start with. Now, the good and bad things about these kind of boxes are that if you get six individual ones, that's great. However, you're gambling by buying another box. Are there more than one set of these pre-configured boxes or are they all the same? So if I bought another box, would they all come with the same six or would it come with a different set of six? There's only 12 in this series, so it's very likely you're going to get duplicates. I had fun opening them. I don't think we're going to buy how many more we're going to buy from this series, but I do like these ones that we got. Might try for a couple more individual packs and we'll see if we come up with a video with that later on. But I do appreciate you joining me today. I had fun opening these. I hope you had as much fun as I did. And uh, also seeing how terrible of a guest I am. <laughs> but uh, until next time, this is Ian from Lawn Saver, signing out.